Knight is... Holy shit. Knight was fucking gorgeous every game. Ruler Penta! Ruler Penta. I would say... I would say my mind is telling me that I prefer Red Side. I prefer Red Side. Is Knight really that good? He's good. He's good. He's really good. Like Fnatic 2022, yes. Like Fnatic 2022. <laughs> all right, all right. Good trade, good trade. Lulu strong, very, very strong. The one. We take it. They're pushing for the Rift title timer, but I think the fact that Wukong is not clearing to find level 6 is crazy. Oh, 369. This team is so far. Oh, huge, actually. Really huge. Wukong also got 6 from the wave. That's why he went. Really big. Wukong mm. doesn't have ult, but the, the smite to, for the slow. Oh! Ooh. Okay, Mao kind of flash, we mentioned it before. <laughs> and now he's dead. <laughs> Bro, my sleep schedule after New Year's has been completely bombastic. Like, I've been waking up at like 12, 1. I'm completely vibing, man. Here, JDG is first, so they can actually, like, fight. But in terms of what side prior should lead into, should lead into CS advantages or it should lead into a uh, uh, position advantage. Here JDG have full position advantage even though they are theoretically weaker, but this 3000 gold, I would rather have the position than 3000 gold currently. And it hasn't really led into Bilibili at this point in time with 3k gold advantage. They haven't finished any big items. Oh, that's a taunt. Oh, 369 is kind of empty, but if they can return kill on Wu, it's really, really good. Yumi and Akali looking pretty OP. So here, right, it's like uh, Aatrox is context contesting the pixel. Like, look how much damage Maokai did. That's crazy, by the way. How many saplings did he have in this fight? Maokai did 3k damage. And yeah, we will see, we will see what, what, what comes out of it. <laughs> Maybe this idea of, of farming more and winning side and winning 2v2s is just completely irrelevant. Just, uh, just put yourself in a position where you have good team fight comp and uh, just defend your nexus and all things are gonna be fine. Oh, if they kill Yumi here, it's really huge. Wow, this is a really big deal. Akali has no appropriate way of playing this. Ruler trade skill, he has flash and also cleanse. Oh, Ruler is completely chilling, by the way. Ruler just saved Nash, by the way. He saved Nash. Just funnel everything into Ruler. And how happy, like if I'm Kanavi and my AD is Ruler and he says I need to farm because I'm gonna 1v9, bro, take everything. Take my wallet, take my Mastercard, take my Visa, bro. You want a massage? Here, take a massage as well. Bro, anything. They are going for the 50-50 around Nash rather than the Drake. Oh. Okay, this is a favorable fight for JGG, it looks like Wukong is already dead. This is going to lead into, of course, the Drake too. Not sure if Billy Billy can, they could have probably just walked out. I don't know how Wukong ended up being in such a tough spot. But this means JGG should soul. 
Not completely over still though, they're still like Nash and, and Ben is still monster strong. Yeah, this is very strange. I don't know why JGG just don't give up the tower, right? The enemy team took full mid prior. Uh, they crossed into both side river. They had a wave stacking. They have no reason to defend this bot tower. Billy Billy is actually playing quite well. Oh wow, psychopaths. They're just fighting like that? I guess it fucking works. Jesus. Usually you'd be like, okay guys. We are 3v5. Let's chill. But uh, <laughs> they have uh, the level to be able to recognize, yo, these guys have no ults. This is fightable, obviously. I like that JDG have funneled the enemy now into the same side. 369 is stop watching for some reason. Um, now it's a lot harder for Billy Billy because you're entering from the same spot. Maokai is going to get a lot of value here. Oh, the HP 4k? 4k? Oh, they just turn. No 50 50. Sivir is dead. Sivir no flash. Akali R2. Ben <gasps> is alive. Zeri has ult. Zeri has ult. Zeri has ult. Zeri has ult. Zeri moment. Zeri moment. Elk is an animal, by the way. <laughs> ah, three six nine hero moment or not? <laughs> not sure. Not sure why they gave the space so much. Because JGG could enter this uh, rather unharmed. Oh, ruler still in a flash, but he's too tanky. Like you can't engage like this. This looks super super winning for JGG unless Bin can do some magic. Bin magic. <gasps> he almost got snip. Oh, 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 oh. Ooh. There's no wave. There's no wave, and Nash is in two minutes. Best case scenario now for Billy Billy is uh, JDG is going to be in a spot where um, they only give Nash uh, for, um, of course, uh, this elder. They need to avoid fighting at all, at all cost. Maybe they lose like mid inhib turret. I think looking for end is a little bit too much maybe, but they are, they are just nuking the turret it seems. They have Nash for 40 more seconds. Okay, ruler flashed. But that's the Yomi ult. There's not enough damage. It's GG. Did you win? Oh, they were a game. Gwen no Zonia. Yeah, she just went for full damage build. I don't know, man. The way JDG won this game. This is going to be a scary year for everybody else facing up against JDG. I don't know. I, I don't see the, the appeal here of NAR. The cannon is picked into NAR, by the way. Like. <laughs> Alright, it's Bin. Maybe Bin knows something we don't. So you can see Zeri Lulu, they're stacking this wave with the next one. Oh, that seems like they are just basing and then crossing into top. Lulu didn't base yet, so it kind of makes sense. This feels very bad. Cannon's on a wave. Unsealed spellbook is also fine, yeah. I forgot about that one. Talia almost has flash, it's so close. It just came up. He's currently fishing a lot of damage onto him as well. They'll get straight on top of him and there's nowhere for him to go. Yeah, I think uh, the fact that Bin delayed his base so long made uh, topside really, really not contestable.
the gears and really finding themselves in a great position here. Just kind of constantly mo forcing mistakes here. They haven't taken the tower just yet. Unite ulted themselves a bit too early, but I guess it works, man. They are, it is just too fucking good. Oh, man. Oh, bubble. So, so close there to catching him out there. But now Bin, he's looking for the hole breaker in 369. He's dead. He's got nowhere to go. And he is dead. <laughs> okay, maybe Bin just won me nine the game. Bin Salazar, Bin Salazar. Oh, he's Salazar. Holy, Bin just wants to win. Oh, Bin just wants to win, baby. Bin. Bin bong. What's BLG's winning con? That Bin completely won me nines. I remember when I said on fleek, like we played. Oh. Okay, yeah, guys, dead. Bin is gaming. Okay, Ben Silazi, he has jump, he has jump. Oh, very good. Alusha is too strong, actually, he's one shotting them. Zeri doesn't do as much damage, she doesn't have eye. Yo, Ben, the way Ben is holding his E, man, is so, so clean. He's, he's always, always holding his E if he can still hit and be busy. It's very good. But Billy Billy, they have uh, a mountain soul. And uh, Zeri is not quite the same. I would say that we, we, we saw plenty of mistakes. I think uh, Knight misplayed the fight. I think uh, Ruler misplayed the fight. Uh, but yeah, I think if you want to blame only one person, um, Bin was well, an absolute uh, monster. He uses advantage and... Uh, he played the fucking beautiful game. I think picking Jace into Ash, Ari, ha uh, Wukong is not the easiest. It's really not the easiest, guys. Uh, it's, um, Jace is allergic to engage. Really allergic. He gets like, it's like a fucking a peanut allergy. Uh, this guy, Jace won't be able to breathe and all that jazz. Because usually champions that can engage, they can also gang well. So that's the issue that, that Jace has to deal with. But Jace is definitely good into Camille. Right? It's like uh, Jace can easily, easily fight against Camille. It's not hard for her to E in. Uh, she can just set up ganks. But let's see what, what Bin does. That's always been the question. But you're right. You're right. This is a fair point, Kavi Brush. I didn't think about this point, so. Oh, that's big. He's dead. Very big. I don't know why Wukong abandoned him while he's pushing. Okay, can I have flash? Reset. This is so huge. So, so huge. Really, really big for Billy Billy. Oh! Oh, night. No flash. Oh! Okay. A knight and showmaker, two best Cinders in the world. This was like the, the prestige. Oh. They just had to vibe. Okay. Yeah, here in this spot, JDG, they gained so much bot, right? They didn't need to posture on that midwave as much as they did. Oh, wow. Because it's like Knight has so much gold in his pocket right now. <sighs> Crazy is our game. Oh, man. 
Yeah, The Prestige is one of my favorite movies of all time. You're also very welcome to, to write this uh, in the chat. I don't know what Missing is fishing for, but... I don't like uh, Billy Billy how they are positioning on the midwaves. Like, they don't need to show with as many people as they are showing. Jun has no, Wuk no Wukong ult. Ari ult is still on, that's the only thing. Ash arrow is on cooldown. Like, ult cooldowns are way more important for Billy Billy because they are the ones that need to find initiations. But I don't think Wukong should ever show himself. Like, for example, here, Wukong, why is he walking forward? It's completely pointless. Oh, I missed the fight. Mid laner for mid laner. Now Shun has died as well. Bin is going to fall. Ruler is just untouched on this virus and he is pushing forward. They're going to have the glacial potion soon. They don't even need a triple kill. Shit, I missed it. And now the game, the Baron, it all feels like it's going. Did Wukong end? Oh, I mean, they find Nightball. What can't this one work? Can't even walk out on the lane, you know? Ooh, like the champions thematically are very strong. Yeah, there's just no counterplay. They can't really engage on the enemy. Karav is too tanky. Oh shit, Bin. Holy fuck! Holy shit, man! Okay. It's just when people are max level, they have so much armor. It's like Sivir has 100 armor now. It's like you don't have Cyrildas. It's, it's kind of a tragedy. Like Cyrildas is gonna give you like 30 lethality on average against everybody. Ooh. This fight is so messy, man. I don't know what happened. I feel like oh the bones like here I want Billy Billy to kite into bottom side kite into bottom side pull this Drake all the way into bottom side let Ari be on the blue buff for a flank I don't like that they're not flanking they're all from the fr front position I need someone to cross the wall Ooh, Ben is just dead. In GA. Dragon reset, 6k HP. Yeah, that's a JDG is too sturdy with it. 2k, 2k. Oh, Syndra got it. Syndra got it. Syndra got it. Syndra got it, man. Yeah, now this, this game is just impossible to play. Uh, they need they need a miracle. Ben and they didn't intentionally leave the ward alive. No, they just couldn't see it because that ward is very annoying to kill. Oh, night! Holy night! Oh, honestly, night to me is the MVP. Knight is the MVP of today's series. Knight has been playing really, really insane. Knight is... Holy shit. Knight was fucking gorgeous every game. Ruler Penta! Ruler Penta. Welcome to the LPL indeed.